Welcome to Superhero Stories. I am your host, Captain EJ. Today, we'll be exploring the world of Transformers. All you have to do is close your eyes, get cozy, and listen to the sound of my voice. This story is brought to you by my friend, Mrs. Honeybee. Let's begin. The Autobots are putting up their best defense against the Decepticons' evil schemes, but now they need your help. The Decepticons have kidnapped Optimus Prime and are holding him hostage at one of the deepest, coldest places on Earth. You heard their pleas for help and are here, in the middle of a junkyard full of car parts, where Charlie first found Bumblebee. You look around, from one side to the other, peeking around cars that are smashed and stacked one on top of the other. You walk up and down the rows of cars that form a wall, searching for the Transformers who were supposed to meet you. Then you hear the rumble of a speeding car approaching from the other side of the wall of cars. Its tires screech as it makes a screeching sound as a yellow car turns sharply around the wall of cars and stops in an instant right in front of you. You wonder if this is Bumblebee and before you can complete your thought, the doors of the car push out into arms, the front of the car forms into a head, and the back of the car folds out into two legs. It crouches at first with a fist to the ground, then he stands up slowly towering above you. It's Bumblebee. He looks down at you, and with a worried, rushed look, he gestures that it's your turn to transform. You have a rescue mission to accomplish. Bumblebee leads the way out of the junkyard, and you follow close behind, adjusting to your new transformer size with each step, right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot. Your machinery creaks and the ground rumbles under your massive steps. You are stronger and bigger than you ever thought possible. Now that you're getting the hang of it, you're able to run behind Bumblebee. You follow where he leads, crossing whole intersections full of cars on a single stride. You look down and notice a panel of buttons and red blinking lights on your wrist. You look back up to where Bumblebee is and he's turned a corner in an even faster sprint until he reaches an airport with signals that look like satellites pointing up into the sky. He's figured out exactly where Optimus Prime is being held, and it's nowhere you can run to. He gives you a nod and then transforms immediately into an aircraft of the same colors. He hovers in the air just above your head waiting for you to follow suit. To transform again, you will need to do your transformer breaths. You will take four little breaths in through your nose as if you are sniffing the air that you will be able to hover in. Each breath in will transform you part by part, just like Bumblebee. When you breathe out through your mouth, you will need to breathe out in four little breaths to fully adjust to your new aircraft shape. Are you ready to transform again? Bumblebee's aircraft engine sputters out exhaust as it hovers in the air. Take four little breaths in through your nose and hold your breath in for a moment. Your right arm transforms into a wing, then your left arm, then your right leg transforms to a landing wheel, then your left. Now breathe your first little breath out through your mouth to transform all the final touches onto your aircraft. With your next breath, you'll need to supercharge your engine. Take another slow, deep breath in through your nose and strengthen each and every muscle in your body. Hold your breath in for a moment with all of your muscles strengthened to allow all the machinery to finish transforming. Then slowly breathe all the way out through your mouth and complete your transformation into an aircraft. Let your whole body hang heavy in the air. Your winged arms carry you on the wind effortlessly. You and Bumblebee fly through the air, weaving around the puffy white clouds on your way to save Optimus Prime. The clouds start to become thicker and thicker and it gets colder and colder, but your machinery keeps you warm. Below you see the vast Atlantic Ocean with waves chopping along the surface. Bumblebee spirals down from the sky in sweeping circles before zeroing in on that specific spot in the ocean. You spiral down to meet him hovering just above the waves. He says that you are hovering over the Laurentian Abyss, one of the deepest underwater valleys on Earth. This is where the Decepticons rescued Megatron from and where they brought Optimus Prime as revenge. Little did they know, you and Bumblebee were hot on the trail to the rescue. Together, you and Bumblebee transform once again into submarines to dive into the icy depths. Take a slow, deep breath in through your mouth to transform and dive in the ocean. 
Hold your breath in for a moment as you and Bumblebee recover Optimus Prime from the depths. Then slowly breathe out through your mouth as you hook Optimus Prime onto your submarines and rush him back to the surface. You launch out of the water and transform back into aircrafts to lift and fly Optimus Prime to safety as far away as possible. You and Bumblebee fly to a warm tropical beach to thaw out and transform back into your human form. You land on the sands of an empty, peaceful beach that you have all to yourself. Optimus Prime shrinks down to his smallest form and relaxes after a long ordeal. Bumblebee transforms back into a yellow car and revs the engine for you to hop in. You and Bumblebee drive down the coast as the sun goes down on a rescue mission accomplished. All you hear are the waves crashing on the sand. The smell of salt in the air is so thick you can almost taste it on your lips. That concludes our story. I can't wait to see you again. Captain EJ, over and out.